हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी न्यूमेरिकल ऑफ ओपन बेल स्टेयर केस कॉन्क्रीट स्ट्रक्चर चैप्टर डिजाइन ऑफ स्टेयर केस टॉपिक न्यूमेरिकल ऑफ ओपन वेल स्टेयर केस हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी न्यूमेरिकल ऑफ ओपन बेल स्टेयर केस क्वेश्चन इज फिगर शोज एन अरेंजमेंट फॉर ए स्टेयर केस टू बी प्रोवाइडेड फॉर एन ऑफिस बिल्डिंग डिजाइन द स्टेयर केस द राइजर्स आर वन फिफ्टी एम एम एंड द ट्रेड्स आर टू फिफ्टी एम एम द वॉल्स आर फोर हंड्रेड एम एम थिक एंड द स्टेयर स्लैब हैज फुल बियरिंग ऑन द मैसेनरी वॉल्स द सपोर्टिंग बीम इज फोर हंड्रेड एम एम वाइड यूज एम ट्वेंटी ग्रेड कॉन्क्रीट and fe415 grade steel now proceeding to design this question step number 1 is calculation of load for this we provide a waist of 200 mm depth now we will calculate dead load of waist slab equals to 200 into 25 we will get 5000 newton per meter square ceiling finish which is given in question is 300 newton per meter square now total dead load will be 5300 newton per meter square corresponding load per square meter on plan equals to total dead load into in bracket capital r square plus t square upon t here r is riser Which its value is given in question and T is tread. Its value is also given in question. Now putting the value in this formula, we will get corresponding load per square meter on plan. Therefore, its value is six one eight zero newton per meter square. Load per square meter on plan, waste and ceiling finish equals to six one eight zero newton per meter square. Dead load of steps one fifty divided by two mm. It is taken average value. Therefore, equals to seventy five into twenty five. We will get one eight seven five newton per meter square. Top finish equals to three hundred newton per meter square. Live load equals to three thousand newton per meter square. Total load will be one one three five five newton per meter square. Since the landing slab is a two-way slab, the load on the landing slab may be taken as one one three five five divided by two equals to five six seven seven point five newton per meter square. Now we will calculate AST for flight AB. For this, first we will calculate effective span equals to center to center distance between the supporting walls equals to one point seven plus one point five plus one point seven equals to four point nine meter. Consider a one meter wide strip of the flight equals to we will calculate reaction at each support in that beam. So we will get one one three five five into one point five into five six seven seven point five into three point four divided by two. We will get one eight one six eight newton. Now we will calculate maximum bending moment equals to one eight one six eight into four point nine divided by two. Minus five six seven seven point five into one point seven into one point six minus one one three five five into point seven five square by two. So we will get two five eight seven five point two newton meter. Now we will calculate ultimate moment mu equals to maximum bending moment into one point five. we will get 38812.8 newton meter now 
we have formula mu equals to 0.1838 fck bd square on putting all values in this formula we will get d required so we will get its value 119 mm providing 10 mm diameter bar at a clear cover of 15 mm Effective depth available equals to small d equals to 200 minus 20 equals to 180 mm. 20 is clear cover value. Now, we will calculate ratio of mu upon bd square. On putting all values in this formula, we will get its value 1.2. Now, percentage of steel pt equals to 50 in bracket 1 minus under root of 1 minus 4.6 into 1.2 divided by 20 upon 415 upon 20 we will get percentage of reinforcement equals to 0 0.359 percentage. Now we will calculate AST value for flight AB equals to 0 0.359 divided by 100 here 0 0.359 is percentage of steel which is calculated above. In bracket 1000 into 180, we will get 646 mm square. Now, spacing of 10 mm diameter bar equals to 79 into 1000 divided by 646, we will get 122 mm. It is calculated by formula 1000 into small ast divided by capital ast now we provide 10 mm dia bar at the rate 120 mm center to center similarly we will calculate ast for flight da da equals to distance from center of beam to center of bearing on wall effective span equals to 2 plus 1.5 plus 0 0.2 plus 0 0.2, we will get 3.9 meter. Consider a 1 meter wide strip of the flight taking moments about capital D. VA into 3.9 equals to 11355 into 2.2 into 1.1 plus 5677.5 into 1.7 in bracket 2.2 plus 0 0.85 we will get VA equals to 14594.09 Newton and in this way we will get VD equals to 11355 into 2.2 plus 5677.5 into 1.7 minus VA value which we had calculated above. We will put this value, we will get Vd equals to 20038.66 Newton. Let the shear force be 0 at a distance x meter from D. Therefore, 20038.66, it is Vd value minus 11355 into x equals to 0. Therefore, x equals to 1.76 meter. Maximum bending moment value now we will calculate equals to 20038.66. It is VD value into 1.76 minus 11355 into 1.76 square divided by 2. We will get maximum bending moment equals to 17681.40 Newton meter. Now we will calculate ultimate moment by multiplying 1.5 to maximum bending moment. We will get 26522.1 Newton meter. Now we will calculate ratio of MU upon BD square. On putting all values in this formula, we will get 0 0.819 and now we will calculate percentage of steel by using formula and putting all values we will get 50 in bracket 1 minus under root 1 minus 4.6 into 0 0.819 divided by 20 
डिवाइडेड बाय 415 अपॉन 20 वी विल गेट 0.24 परसेंटेज नाउ वी विल कैलकुलेट एएसटी फॉर डीए फ्लाइट 0.24 डिवाइडेड बाय 100 इन ब्रैकेट 1000 into 180 we will get 432 mm square now spacing of 10 mm dia bar equals to again we will use same formula 1000 into small ast upon capital ast we will get 182 mm now provide 10 mm dia bar at the rate 180 mm center to center now moving toward next step detailing of reinforcement or reinforcement detailing now for flight ad we have provided reinforcement detail for ultimate movement and marked similarly we have also provided reinforcement details for ultimate movement for flight ab and bc remember reinforcement detail are same for ad and bc flight thank you students in next class we will study design of retaining wall